Hey, this is YBO with BMG Drive, and we're going to look at a car crusher. Yeah. It's literally a thing made just for crushing cars and nothing else at all. That's great. Now, to download this, I'm not sure about you guys having a link yet, because I literally got a PM on YouTube that says, Hey, check out this mod. I'm like, that's sketchy. Is that even a legit mod? And I looked at the guy who sent it, and it's like, it's Bissification. He made a couple other mods, like the UFO and the snowplow and the garbage truck off the top of my head. So I was like, oh, that's probably legit. And I downloaded it, and it was legit. Now I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think it's like supposed to be a public release version yet. So I don't want to send the, put the link in the description. And I didn't even ask him to make a video. I figure, you know, he sent it through YouTube. So obviously he knows I make videos. So he should be okay with me making a video for it, right? Makes sense to me. So, anyways, here it is, right here. And for you to download it, you could uh, ask the guy directly, and I think he'll send you the link. Because I saw him saying in the comments for his video that people could just ask him for the link and or ask him on the forums account or something like that. And they'll send you. He'll send it to you. See me. I keep my forum account separate from my other account because I use a name that I normally use in other things, and it's kind of inconvenient. So, anyways, there's two ways to get a car in here. There's a the YBR way, which is just spawn it in there. And then there's a the realistic way, which is you know actually setting it down and stuff with like a forklift. I like the YBR way because that means we have more time to crush things. So to crush things, you just use the left and right arrows on your keyboard. See right and left, and uh oh, I'm hitting things too fast, too hard. Sometimes that happens. I think it's uh the truck's kind of in the way of things. There we go. Hopefully that's better. So anyways, we are now selected as the truck. We're going to be this thing now. Every time you select it, the camera angle gets is kind of ugly. So we're going to move it to right here. And you notice there's all that smoke going on and the truck kind of slides. That's Beam and G Drive itself. Um, they're working on the friction in the uh, uh, the update to fix that. But there's nothing the car crusher can do about that. But as you see, it works just like that. Boom. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? See, sometimes it gets some crazy things, man. But when it's not doing crazy things, you get some crushed up cars. Look at the steering wheel. It's like, I don't care about you. I'm the steering wheel. I'm staying right here. But that's how it works. You just left and right to crush things, and you crush things. It's really great. Look at that. That one went fast. It varies how fast it goes because it's kind of glitchy. But that's okay. It's still fun. <laughs> so what you could do, you know, you could do something like crazy if you wanted to. You could try to put a car here, and we could try putting a car on that car, and then we could try to put a car on that car, and then we could just lag my computer to death. Is basically what's going to happen here, but that's okay. This is, a, this is a stupid idea. Stupid, stupid, but it's great. And one of those is kind of, they're all going through the wall. That's great. That's terrible. Let's try to not make them go through the wall. Right, that one's good. And I think this is the one that's bad. Okay. So let's move this one to be kind of in the pile of cars, too, without glitching through the wall. Awesome. All right, so now we are the crusher again. We got three cars here, and we're going down. Prepare for just lag, lag. Oh, it's it's holding up. It's okay. Because two of the cars got spat out. Ah, that's not what I quite wanted. I wanted all the cars to be crushed. Oh, see, we got to open it up first before they'll fit. I say, open it up. Spawn the cars. Hey, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to spawn here. Get in there. Stop it. Wait, wait that's okay. That's okay. I like that. That's good. That's good. That's good. I right, wish car are we now? Let's get all these cars piled in for the party. It's crushing party. Yay. I don't know if this one will actually... Try to move it a little bit, maybe? Nope, it's see, it's gonna fall out. I was afraid it would do that from the start. Just set it right here. There we go, perfect, perfect. Oh, this is great. Okay. Crushing party engaged. Let's do slow-mo on this. Oh, goodness. Crusher bounced. Ugh. Okay. I let go on crushing, so let's see what happens. It's probably gonna lag. It's not lagging yet. It's not lagging yet. It's just a pile of smoke. Look at that, it's just a pile of smoke because there's just so much... Oh, man. Well, let's go ahead and do full speed because you can't see nothing. We'll see what this looks like at the end. Oh, yes. Uh, I only see two trucks now. I think two of them form fused into one truck and... Wait, is it... Or are there only two trucks there? No, there are three trucks there. There are three trucks there. Trust me when I say that. There are three trucks here. You just can't see them all because they're all in a pile of damage. Wow. That's terrible for those cars. 
They are just destroyed up. Okay, let's uh you know there's one there's two ways to remove cars from a map, because that's a bit too many. Let's do only like two for now. Uh one is to go into the map editor and remove and two is just to reload the map. Two is easy. Two is really easy. That's why I'm doing two, because it's easy. I'm sure there'll be people out there who ask, but can you crush the crusher? Well, let's find out. Can you crush the crusher? I told you, man, I'll get the dumbest idea ever sometimes. I'm going to put a crusher in a crusher somehow. It's going to be a glitch disaster. You should never try this at home. Oh, God. I told you you should never try this at home. It went through the ground. Oh, my goodness. See, the problem is there's no way to actually fit. Oh, my goodness. This was a bad idea. It's breaking everything. Maybe that means it's a good idea. I don't know. What if we just put the crusher on the other crusher? Whoop! Oh, God. Don't, okay, don't put crushers on crushers. Because that happens. <laughs> I mean, I don't expect them to be made to do that. I just wanted to see what would happen. And now my conclusion is simple. Don't put crushers on your crusher. Alright, so how about this then? What about going and pulling out something a little bit different? We've only done trucks so far. Let's do the uh, Ibishu Kovet with the Rally Edition, which has a roll cage in it, which might think things a little... A little bit more durable. Wait, what did I... Do? I don't know what vehicle I was even selected on. Try that again. Covet with the rally. Because it has a roll cage. Race has a roll cage too. It doesn't matter. See? Roll cage right there. So make it stand up a little more, but the roll cage should give way. And again, the camera kind of is pointed weirdly for this, so you have to just separate the camera with shift C, and then you're golden. And you go crush, crush time. See if we can see anything or not, if there's just going to be a smoke screen. And again, that's BMG Drive itself more than anything. Let me freeze things up, get a better camera angle. Not quite crushing it yet. That's a perfect camera angle. All right, eight times slow mo. That roll cage is doing its best, but no, it will not hold. Now we just have explosion bits. Yep. Going everywhere. And we go real time. We just keep crushing. Like, I don't care. I'm going to keep crushing you until you're obliterated. Do you see? It's still getting damaged up more and more because of the crushing. Like, it's like, I am not supposed to be crushed this hard. Look at it, it's spinning it out, and it's getting crushed harder now. Oh, that's terrible for this thing. Just keep crushing it, you know, just like, I hate you, good dog car. I don't hate you. You're an okay car. But you're dead now. Really dead. Oh, goodness. That's another way to crush cars. Oh, it didn't do anything that time. How weird. I wonder if it was because it was too high up. That happens with some other things I've noticed, is when you're too high up, it'll just go straight through it. That's neat. You can crush anything you want. Just crush it a little bit. Crush it a little bit. So, you know, one of the things you can compare this to is the cattle, the uh, Crusher by Drowsy Sam. Let me see, do I have that installed right now? No, I do not. Let me, uh... Let me get that real quick so you can see what it compares to. Alright, so... I'm going to spawn another thing, and get it selected, there we go, and we can make this the catapult, which is also a crusher. It's both. It's got to choose a crusher. So for this one, it's kind of like the thing you can compare this to. They're both pretty similar uh, things. But uh, one thing I could I say for sure is this one's easier to control how much it comes down. For this one, it kind of like goes jittery movements, and it's hard to control how much it goes down. And lining it up for this is a little less than simple, because you kind of got to estimate, like, oh, I think the car's about here. Then it won't be. Oh, goodness, that's not the car at all. Go over here, you crazy. But um, what I'm saying is I think this one's a little bit better than this one just because easy to line things up and slightly easier to control it versus this one where it kind of has like that jittery movement. The other one's more smooth. And either way, they both crush things. Looks like the other one might be a little less likely to grab hold of the car as well. Like, do you see how how strong of a hold this thing got on it? It is like this is my car now. The other one, the, the uh, this one, the, the uh, this one over here doesn't seem like it wants to steal the car as hard. You know, it's like it'll it'll squish it and then it'll let it go for the most part. Yeah, it'll hold on to it a little bit, but not nearly as hard as that one is holding on to it. Like watch. So we go whoop, crazy camera angle up, and then we go crush. And you'll see it doesn't like wanna squish it as bad. Oh, whoops. Whoa. See, so sometimes it freaks out though. That's why I'm thinking it might be like a beta version. 
And I shouldn't put the download link yet because it might be some things to work out still. But the point is you can still crush things in this version. That's all that matters. Crush. And you can pull it up and then you can crush it again. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. I love it. Alright, so how about this? Whoops, I broke Beam and G Drive. Hit J a couple of times. Oh my goodness, where'd my crusher go? Oh goodness, everything's going. Uh, crusher, what are you doing? Okay, so the crusher's hitting the car, which is just ruining everything, so we gotta move the car out of the way. Otherwise, every time I spawn the crusher again, it crushes the car and breaks everything. Alright, so there you go. Then we respawn it. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. How about this? Let's see. Is there any way I could do this? Um. Okay, I got an idea. Let's see. We're going to get the crusher. Which one's the crusher? This one, this one, that one. Okay, we're going to get the crusher. And we're going to go over to right here and try to set it like right here. How's that look? Ooh, it's close where I wanted it. A little bit more in. A little closer to the ramp now. And about right there should be perfect. All right, there we go. That's good. That's good. So this is another way to get the cars into it, you know? Oh, this thing's not shifting. Oh, goodness, it's broken up. Do you see it's missing bumpers and stuff? You know, that's a fresh spawn. That's not normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to just crush half of this car. We're going to lean in half of it. If we can. I don't know if this will work necessarily. We're just going to go like... There we go, just like that. Parking brake, will you hold? All right, parking brake seems to hold. Let's get the camera angle nice and good, and we're going to crush half a car. It's actually, you know, so we can get a better camera angle. Right here looks good. Eight times slower, because I don't know exactly what will happen here. I think that's a pretty good camera angle right there. Alright, that part's getting crushed in nicely. Ooh. Okay, look at that. Oh, look at the roof jiggling. Alright, go full speed now. And let go. See, it's a little grabby, but I don't think it's going to let go, actually. Dang it. Alright, let's go ahead and move the car. To That's not the car. That's the other crusher. There's the car, and wow. You can just see, uh... You don't even see the engine. The engine's gone. Is it, or is it there still? No, it's there, right? It has to be there. Engines don't just disappear like that. Is that it? I can't tell. It has to be there. Oh, jeez. What are you doing, other crusher? Shoo, shoo, shoo. We're not messing with you right now. I was just showing you, that you for a second as a comparison. Get away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do my favorite thing. My very favorite thing, which is always to crush the rear end of a car and have the front end still work. I love doing that. We're going to do that right now because we can. It's my favorite thing to do, and I don't know why. Wee, quick cut. What? 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 what quick, what? Quick cut. Ah, can't talk. All right, so we can do my favorite thing now. Just back it in. Perfect. Then we're gonna say parking brake on. Hopefully it doesn't roll too much. We're gonna go whoop, and whoop, whoop. How you doing, car? Did you roll at all? Yeah, you did roll a little bit. Uh oh. Whoop. Mm, this one. There we go. That's the car. All right, sit right there. Sit tight. Cause you're about to be crushed. All right, perfect. All right, how's the car doing? <laughs> oh, it still drives. Yes, I like it. Oh, this is my favorite thing to do. Look at my car. Oh, it kind of drives. Get some traction. <laughs> Look at my car. It's the best car ever. It can go a whole five miles per hour. Even with the roll cage though, it just got crushed. It's like the roll cage can't stop the crusher. It's not a crush cage, it's a roll cage, okay? Unfortunately, it's not gonna go very far. Like this, nuh uh. Alright, we're done. We're not moving no more. Let's use a different car and then, uh. Maybe another different car. And I'm sure you guys will have a lot of things you want to see with this. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I'll do that, whatever you guys say, you know? As long as I think it's good. If it's a stupid idea, like, I don't know, try to put a crusher in a crusher, we tried that. It didn't go well at all. It actually went very bad, I would say. My one piece of advice, don't put crushers in your crusher. It'll crush your dreams. 
uh, close enough. I like half. I like partial crushes. You know, I could have just spawned it in there, but it's not. It's not a partial crush. Partial crushes are great. Ah, there we go. Camera was kind of stuck. Crush, crush. Oh my goodness! It went fast that time. It went really fast. All right, how's the cr how's the truck look? Oh wow, it doesn't look that bad. It kind of just got pushed off to the side, unfortunately. It's not what I wanted. You had your chance to be partially crushed. Your chance is up now. You're gonna just get total crush. Ow! Don't stick your face in that well. What happens if that if it does that? I'm curious now. Oh, it doesn't matter. It'll crush it anyways. Yes. Crush again. Why not? Make sure it's nice and good. Alright, look at that thing. That poor truck. Used to be a truck. Not much anymore. Alright, we'll do one more crush and then we'll be done. We need some variety. We'll use the Moonhawk. Oops. But it, it wasn't even selected for a car. Try that again with the Moonhawk. Where is it? Grand Marshal, no, that's not it. Where are you? There you are, Moonhawk. Yeah. Oh, that's not quite right. Get in the crusher properly. Nice, nice, nice. Now reset. Hubcap flying, but that's okay. Alright, here we go. I like this angle. We can do eight times slow mo here. So it's a big old heavy American car. Oh, well, well Crusher's like it's cr Crusher's giving up. Up oh, now it's coming back. It was just a, it was a trick. So yeah, it is a little glitchy as, as, as for this version, you know. But uh, it does good crushes. I mean, it's not glitchy enough where you can't crush things. That's for sure. There's some nice crushes. Ooh, I got a really good idea, and I honestly think, oh goodness, I just put the crusher on a car again, that breaks everything. Giving me something like this is dangerous, because I'll break everything. It's a good thing I know how to fix things as well. Uh-oh, not, nope, uh, 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 I did the thing where it keeps going to frozen and unfrozen forever. Alright, let me restart real quick. Whoop! This is actually, you don't even need to restart the game, I don't think, I think just go in and out. What I was going to do is I'm going to put two cars side by side, we will just go to regular grid map. A uh, grid small, and one will have a roll cage, one won't, and we'll see if the if you can see a difference with them. Cause I'm curious now about that. So one has to be the crusher. Another one has to be a car. Just the normal default version, and the next one gets to be the earlier race edition. It doesn't matter which, just one that has a roll cage. And that one should have a roll cage. You can see the metal bars, so that's good. Just set it right here. Oh, that's not quite right. Put it forward a bit. Right about here. There we go. Perfect. And the next one goes right in front of it. Hopefully they'll fit side by side. I chose these ones because they're shorter. I don't know if they'll quite fit. It's going to be a tight one if they do. Go back a little more. A little bit more. It still has room. Oh, that was close, that was close, that's good, okay. So that's where I just gotta get a little closer to the wall. Like I said, you don't have to do it like this, I'm just lazy and that's the way I like to do it. You could also just use like a forklift or something to put them in, but me being me, I'm like, I'll just spawn it in there. Alright, so there we go, that's pretty good. So one has a roll cage, one doesn't. One's also rolling away and one isn't. The roll cage is rolling away, how funny. Alright, so go ahead and reset, reset, then crush. Go ahead, slow it down, go to freeze time, get a nice camera angle on this thing. Alright, there we go. So we do real time, keep crushing, and... Why did I do real time? Real time was too fast, why did I do that? Alright, so reset the cars, and then we do it in slow-mo. There we go. I should look into disabling all that smoke. Because it's getting a little ridiculous, don't you think? Oh, look, it is holding up more. 
Oh, you could totally see the roll cage working. Like, it was trying to hold up and survive. And then the crusher's like, nope, I don't care. And then it's going in for revenge as a second hit. Alright, so. That is the crusher. And just for, just for the last, because I know somebody will say this. It's one of those things where no matter what it is, somebody will say, put it down brutal slope. Fine. We'll put it down brutal slope. Because somebody will say, put it down brutal slope. And then somebody will say, put it down leap of death. So we'll do that too. Yes, it makes absolutely no sense to do that. But somebody will say it, and I know it. So it's like, I'll do it before they can say it. Somebody, I just know it. Somebody will say, oh, hey, do the colors work? I didn't think about that. Whoop. Nope. I don't think it did. I don't know if it respawned, though. Hello. Nope, yep, colors don't nothing. I can see them eventually having a use, since it has yellow and gray, as you can choose one of the colors. Because somebody will say it. Here you go. Oh my goodness, poor thing. This is what happens when you do dumb things that make no sense. Everything gets broken. I don't even know what the... It almost looks like a ski lift or something. It just looks weird. It looks like... I don't know. It just looks funky. Alright, what's that look like to you guys? Tell me what that looks like, because I have no idea how to describe that thing. And like I said, this is just because I know somebody will say, Oh god, it fell apart. Oh my goodness, it disappeared entirely. It literally entirely disappeared and it went through it. It went through the block. <laughs> Alright, fine. Whoever would be the stupid person who would say that and I say it's a stupid idea, maybe it's not the stupidest idea I've ever seen. I'm not going to do a leap of death though, because you see, it just disappears. So, uh, that'll do it. Till next time. So I'll be alright. I know somebody will be like, hey, do this with that. And, uh, I know it'll probably, this thing will make a return because it's interesting. But, uh, anyways, till next time, I'll see ya.